You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Curls Hairstyles, and today CGH4 and I are going to show you how to do this great crossover Dutch braid. But before we do that, I just wanted to remind you that Monday, December 30th at 8 p.m. on Nickelodeon is the show called Web Stars, and Brooklyn and Bailey are being featured. So make sure and check it out. Now, on to the hair. Okay, what we've done to start is here's her normal part line. And I have sectioned off a little tiny, maybe half inch section of hair right to the left of her normal part line. So you can see, here's the new part and here's her normal part. And then I've just pulled everything else into an elastic so that it's out of the way and I'm not accidentally grabbing that hair. Now I'm gonna lay it back where it goes, pick up a section in the front, and begin a Dutch braid. Now, on a Dutch braid, you know on the top piece we're gonna add a little hair, and then we're gonna go ahead and cross it in. But on the bottom, normally we would add this hair into this bottom piece, but I'm actually gonna reach up and over, grab a section of this top piece instead. This is the only tricky part, just because you're trying to do it all one, with one hand. I'm gonna give it a little twist. I like the texture, the twist adds, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it right into that bottom piece and then cross it. So you can see I have this little tiny piece going right there. Now on the top, again, I'm gonna pick up hair from this normal section, cross it in. When we're on the bottom again, grab a little section from here and give it a twist. Go ahead and add it into the bottom section and cross it. We're gonna do this a few more times, so top, reach over, pick up a little piece. Like I said, this is the only tricky part. Twist it, out of the way, and add it in, cross it. Add in hair like normal. Go ahead and reach over. Can you see why I secured that hair underneath? So we're not accidentally grabbing that stuff. Makes it a lot easier. Twist. Go ahead and add it in. And on the top. Like normal. I think we've got two more little twists right here. Go ahead and give it a whirl. How you doing? Good. Good. Okay, one more. She's playing with that rubber band. Okay, last piece. Give it a twist. Like we have the others. Go ahead and add it in. And then finish it off in normal. Just braid down. And so this kind of actually ends up looking a little bit like a lace braid on this one side. Except that it's not a lace braid because we did put pieces in that bottom. I'm going to just finish it off, add an elastic at the end that matches our hair. And then we can release this hair. You can loosen these just a little if you want by tugging on them. And you have this great finished hairdo, which we straightened her hair today, but it would look great with straight hair or curls or waves or anything like that. Now tip your head, like tip it just like this a little bit so they can get a really nice pretty shot of how that looks. Isn't that fun? Kind of different. I think it's very cute. Don't forget to like, comment, and favorite on this video. And see you next week. Bye, Bye. guys. And again, I'm just going to come, and we can deal with these in a minute with some spray, finishing spray.